Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tantra and Tarot with Kelly. Today, we're going to be discussing the new moon in Virgo, which was exact yesterday, August 27th, 2022 at 216 a.m. Mountain Time at four degrees of Virgo. I'd like to go ahead and start off by wishing a happy, happy birthday to all Virgos. And then also just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed, please do so by clicking the subscribe button below. It helps me grow as a channel and I really appreciate it. So today we're going to do a reading. We're going to be using the Fountain Tarot along with the Moonology deck and the I Ching and also um, a couple other Oracle decks. We have uh, the um, Archetype deck and the Animal Spirit deck. So let's go ahead and get started. While I'm shuffling, let's talk a bit about the um, Virgo moon cycle. Ooh, we got a card that jumped on the floor, so I'm going to grab that here in a second. Um, Virgo is ruled by Mercury and the planet of Chiron. Uh, Mercury is the planet of commun communication, <laughs> and Chiron is the planet of um, the wounded healer. Um, let me grab this card real quick on the floor. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. That was the strength card, which was our moon cycle last time. Um, let's go ahead and talk though. Um, we have a new start in Virgo. So Virgo is practical, organized, um, responsible. Virgo likes to plan, much like the animals when they prepare for the winter. Um, Virgo is mutable earth and is represented by the hermit card in tarot. So we may see that come out. During this moon cycle, we also have um, the moon and the sun, which are conjunct in Virgo, square uh, Gemini, uh, which we have Mars in Gemini right now. So we may feel a little bit of friction throughout Virgo season with that square, or you may feel like you're going a little bit in circles. I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. While I'm um, cutting the deck, let's look at what was at the bottom. Um, we have the Knight of Swords. So we'll see how that comes back into play. So what does this moon cycle feel like to me? Well, it definitely feels like cleaning out the closet. It feels like feeling like you need to get organized and get rid of things you don't need and um, reorganize areas of your life that may uh, just be in a little bit of disarray. Um, however, you may feel like you're going to get stuck in the analysis paralysis during all of that organization. Um, just because of this Mercury ruled cycle, it just could feel like you have a lot of thoughts. Like we saw that night of uh, swords at the beginning, you may feel like you have some racing thoughts in your head and there's just a lot to figure out. So if that's the case, if you feel stuck, um, then you may want to just be patient and um, be realistic and take your time to do it right. And if you're still not sure where to begin, um, maybe reevaluate things for a few weeks um, just to get a greater handle on uh, your emotions and build energy into something new. So I'm going to take a main energy, a past, a present, and a future. And let's see here, we're still missing a couple of cards. So I'm going to keep shuffling here. But um, yeah, so symbolically, that closet could also be like your body. So you may also be wanting to clean your body, like go on a deep detox or do a health kick or something to that regard. Um, Virgo does also rule that area of life of um, being healthy and taking care of your body and so forth. So if you aren't in a super cleaning mode, you may be in the mode to go to the gym. So <laughs> yeah, um, basically this is just a time for healing and bringing into action things that is going to, that are going to prepare you for a better future. Um, so let's see here. We're going to take um, two of the I Ching. We'll take the first one here and then we'll take one more here. All right. So let's see what we have. The main energy I have for this moon cycle is the King of Cups, past energy, four of coins, present energy, the tower, <laughs> future energy, three of swords. And at the bottom of the deck, when I cut, I have the Page of Cups. 
So let's see what else we have. Um, the archetype card I have is the king. Very interesting with the king of cups. Then the animal spirit deck card I have is the frog. Also, the moon card we have is the energy is gaining momentic, momentum, waxing moon, which is what we will be going into after this uh, new moon. We'll be in a waxing moon. And then we have two of the I Ching. We have number 58. I believe it's joy. And then um, number 52, I think keeping still. So we'll read a little bit more about those here shortly. All right, so um, let's just talk about what we have and how it relates to the Virgo moon. Well, first off, our main energy, the King of Cups. The King of Cups is uh, sometimes a Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or Pisces male. However, this could really represent anybody in the um, realm of working with your emotions on a larger scale. And having your emotions um, understood by yourself at this time, looking within to really understand those deeper emotions are, is going to help you control them in such a way that will help when change occurs. Um, with the tower card in the center of the reading, we're definitely going to be seeing some um, universally guided changes as this is the uh, major arcana in the reading here. So how does the King of Cups handle a tower situation? Well, um, in being in control of his emotions, a lot of times he keeps his emotions on the inside and it's hard to tell um, how he's feeling or what he's thinking. And so um, basically being the eye of the storm, um, for example, could be very helpful right now. Um, with the past energy being the four of coins, it looks as if um, we have been trying to save our money um, in a way that um, we aren't going to lose it uh, to things that are frivolous. So being very mindful of where you're spending each penny, sometimes it feels like those may be the only pennies you'll ever get. So if you're holding on to your money tightly right now, um, you may also want to think about how you can make that flow better. So are you going to be doing some more work so that you feel like you have more coming in? Or are we going to um, perhaps um, just feel better about our ability to have that Venus cycle come around? So when you spend money, you tend to get money uh, if you are working in, in, in a greater flow. So if you're holding on too tightly, it may be time um, to loosen the reins a little bit if you're feeling like you have that flexibility financially. However, if you don't have that flexibility financially, then building a better plan for the future um, so that you do... Um, not have to hold on so tightly so that you can be a little bit more flexible, which does take work and it takes time. So being patient in that process. Um, and then with the future card being the three of swords and maybe some heartbreak that we're moving through here, um, this lunation is ruled by Chiron, the wounded healer. So how do you feel um, at this time? If there is a big change coming through, are you you know, afraid of how you're going to get hurt. Um, maybe there was a three-party situation that was ending that there perhaps could have been some kind of a breakup or um, a tower uh, moment where the house of cards fell because there was nobody left um, to hold up the, the fort, so to speak. So um, yeah, when the universe comes in with moments like these, um, we do have to stay grounded and stay focused on what's important as to not um, get our hearts broken and being very mindful of uh, where we allow that emotional energy to go. If something sad has come up, perhaps um, you've had a death or you've had a breakup, or there's just been some deeper heart healing that you're going through. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of cups, finding those simple things that you love, um, perhaps spending time with a child, finding areas of your life where you can keep it simple and not uh, feel like things are so complex. It could be a challenging new moon, but um, I, I assure you that whatever healing and changes you're going through at this time are going to be for the greater good in the future. So that's good. Um, we have the frog here and the frog um, definitely likes to feel refreshed in the rain like we see here. Let me pick up a few more keywords for that frog energy and we'll see. Um, 
how it relates better to, to this moon. Um, the frog is a water element and much like the king of cups feels comfortable within that, um, that realm of, of, of the rain and the ocean and, and anything flowing with the water. We have clearing, cleansing, and healing, which I really like that keywords for the frog as it deals with this three of swords. The frog and the water element are almost inseparable. The frog spends its first month of life entirely within this healing element and then emerges to rest on land. But no matter how earthly the frog becomes, its need for cleansing and rejuvenation is regular. Frog tends to become overworked and undernourished. So it's vital that such sensitive creatures practice self-care. This card serves as a reminder that the water helps us cleanse, forgive, and release. Time to dive in. Frogs aren't meant to carry such a heavy load. So yeah, if you feel overworked, we definitely need to find um, time to practice that self-care. Virgo is very good at the self-care. And at this time, it's going to be important to spend um, time alone to focus on those areas in which um, you can um, heal more. So um, if you're going to be doing some yoga, if you're going to be doing some meditation, I do have some great videos on this channel you can find later. Um, those will help release some of the tension and allow you to do that deeper healing, that deeper dive, um, which is definitely supported by this moon cycle. We have the king card as the archetype card here. And this king card says, enlightened, benevolent leadership, benefiting those in your charge. Shadow attributes, excessive, excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. So being mindful of how you are ruling with this king energy. Um, we don't want to uh, take emotions of others and try to use those against them to rule. Like we don't want to be manipulative with our emotions, but especially if you understand yours on a deeper level, you may come in contact with those who don't understand theirs and you could help them um, get that enlightenment that they are searching for at this time by being a good leader. Um, so yeah, but it may take some patience. When I picked up the page of cups, I did have this seven of um, pentacles underneath. And that means that we are going to be doing things just one step at a time, doing them practically, waiting for the growth to occur. Um, it's going to take a team to get from the uh, four of pentacles to the seven of pentacles, the difference being the three of pentacles. So that communication and that teamwork that you have um, supported by this Mercury uh, lunation is also going to be supporting you so that you can move through this. So maybe um, there is a good counselor um, that is helping you through a breakup, or um, you may find that there was a three-party situation and you just need to learn how to control your emotions enough to move away from that which is damaging or harmful to you right now, um, which is also great for, for the health. Um, we don't wanna be uh, creating emotional toxins in our body by not moving through uh, that which hurt us in the past. So definitely a release in that regard. So let's look up um, number 58 here in the E-Chain and we'll read more about that. Number 58 says joy here. So <laughs> finding that happiness within the changes. Traditionally, joy was symbolized by a group of friends playing or, or a carefree child singing to themselves while engaged in their chores. Whatever the example, happiness is rising from within and spreading out into the world. Joy comes into the world through a gentle means, but springs from a solid sense of self. The power of joy should not be underestimated. The enjoyment of learning and discovery, for example, has served as the inspiration for much progress. As such, that which brings joy into the world is also a source of much potential. So finding this inner emotion that does serve you, this you can fast your emotions in a way that you just focus on the joy one and you don't engage in the fear or the sadness or um, any of the jealousy that could be perhaps driving you to feel upset right now. Instead, we're going to focus on um, coming from within. Um, the hermit looks within, finds what they need, and then you go from the inside out. So um, you can find joy um, in any situation, as long as you are opening your heart and being 
open-minded as well to what may come in the future, not necessarily um, what we've seen in the past. So yeah, um, let's read a bit about number 52. And then there are some changing lines between the two and we'll see what those are. So number 52 is keeping still. And it says, um, regular periods of rest are an important aspect of personal development and evolution. The most relaxed person may not be the one who sleeps 12 hours a day, but the one who knows how to grab a nap while cruising at 600 miles per hour at 35,000 feet. Learning to act when it is time to act and be still when it is wise to be still is the key to obtaining the peace of mind that helps you stay alert when clear focus is needed. So the time for rest and relaxation, um, maybe not in relaxation, like it says, but the time for rest, take it when you can get it. Um, and that will help stabilize any of those emotions that may be feeling like they're coming up um, that need to be dealt with. So yeah, we, not, we don't want to be in the um, analysis paralysis like we talked about when we're cleaning out this closet. Maybe it's an emotional closet. And those dark corners that you haven't visited for a while could be scaring you and making you feel a bit stuck. But um, like we said, um, focusing on the body, focusing on how you can um, cleanse and clear um, your own physical self and um, doing so in such a way that it is going to bring more peace and harmony to your life and not perhaps stress you out. You know, I want you to feel like, um, oh my gosh, I didn't make it to the gym today. It's, something's wrong. Like just let yourself flow. If you need the extra rest, go ahead and take it. Um, it says the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. We need to talk a little bit about this. So as we're moving through this cycle, um, as we're moving towards um, the next full moon, which will be the uh, full moon in Pisces, um, being aware of where you're allowing things to build and where you need to let things go. So if emotions are getting um, really intense right now, then um, steering clear from other intense emotional situations. So being mindful of what extra fire you're adding on to that, which you already have. So if things are feeling like, um, you know, something's going to break or I'm going to just have a meltdown, then um, steering clear of other extra emotional activities. So maybe don't watch that sad movie after you're already feeling sad, find a way to bring joy in and find peace within um, yourself at this time. So Let's look at the changing lines between um, number 58 and number 52. Um, we have changing lines one, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, so if all of the lines are changing, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, read numbers uh, one and six. I feel like those um, will be kind of the intro and the exit of this energy. So numbers one and six from Joy. Number one says, living a life of quiet, self-contained joy is the height of good fortune. Eat when you are hungry, work, work doing what you love, sleep when you are tired, take your pleasures when you will, what could be better? So yeah, keeping it simple, this um, page of cups definitely keeps it simpler um, than the king of cups, but we're growing through those um, periods of, of joy where um, maybe it's just the simple joy of being with a child and that will help um, make you feel calm and also rested. So uh, number six at the top says, pleasant circumstances do not always indicate success. Having lost touch with one's deeper self and true purpose, it is possible to be swept along by vanity and superficial pleasures, to be carried away from the sources of true joy. When this happens, it is no longer a question of good or bad fortune. When you lose control of your choices, everything is left to chance. So even when things are out of your control and you feel like things are happening, you still have a control over how you want to feel and what you want to do next. So if you feel like things aren't um, going in the way you want, or you feel like there's a lot of emotions and healing coming up at this time, certainly slowing down and being the one in charge of what you're going to do next so that the roller coaster doesn't feel like it's getting out of your hands. Well, 
I wanted to say thank you to everyone for watching and listening. And regardless of what's going on, definitely be patient with yourself and be loving to others and bring love into any of those situations that may feel difficult. And if you'd like, um, go ahead and watch some of these um, meditation videos that I have. I will leave a link at the end. And thanks so much for joining me and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it and have a lovely new moon in Virgo. Please subscribe to my channel for more Tantra and Tarot.